Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a great day. For today's video, I will be doing my nails for you guys. I decided I wanted to have them done for like Thanksgiving. So I'm going to be doing a brown set as you guys saw in the thumbnail. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, you turn on your post notifications, and you give this video a like for me. It helps my channel grow so much. So yeah, I'm starting off with the primer. I do prime twice because I tend to have oily nail beds. This is the Triple X Bond from Not Polish. So I've seen a lot of brown sets and I really wanted to do some on myself. So we are going to be doing my first brown set ever. So I'm starting off with Mia Secret Clear and my number six Profiles Backstage brush along with the Profiles, no actually this is the Not Polish monomer. And I am just applying the slightest bit of clear to my nail beds. That way they don't stain since I am using a dark brown color. So for the acrylics I'm using in this video, um, the brown is actually from a company called Zoeve. So Ev. Not sure exactly how you properly pronounce it. But this is what the containers look like. They are, I think, no longer in business for right now. Um, but I think I saw a post that said she might come back, so I'm not sure. But I do not have a name for this color because the stickers that were on the containers all, like, just fell off. So, kind of sad about that, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I think it was their only brown, um, dark brown, so... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply this. This is a little bit different to apply because it's kind of meant for like the one bead application. And I'm not the best when it comes to that. So I just applied it as best as I could and it looked just fine. For the other color I will be using, it is called Chew It Over by Not Polish. It's from their Candy Coated collection. It's like a translucent with a um gold shimmer in it and i just felt like it would look perfect with the brown on my other hand i didn't like my design too much so i wanted to switch it up for this hand and i did something completely different you guys don't mind my middle finger because my daughter fell on my nail and now it's a big nasty bruise in there a little bloody and stuff so that's what that is, if you guys were wondering. And then also I did want to mention these tips are the Secret Nail Affair Extra Long Sculpted Tips. I did get these in my Christmas box. If you guys are interested in watching that unboxing, it is the video I uploaded before this one. And it's actually a really good video. So check that out after this one if you guys are interested. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch my application and then I will pop back in in just a little bit. Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging 
Maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Okay, so as you guys can see, my thumb went a little bit better except for my cuticle area. But I'm going to try to fix that as much as I can. I know I go out of frame for a little bit, but I was just trying to fix that as best as I could. And then I'm going to go through and encapsulate some of them on camera. And then we're going to move on to shaping and then the nail art. So for the clear that I'm using, it's the Mia Secret Clear, and it works pretty well. I don't have really any issues with it. I just have a huge jar of it, so I try to use it as much as possible. So I'm going to just do this one, and then I will move on to the filing. This is an 8080 grit file, and I think it's the best for shaping for my preference. So I'm just going to go through and try to get those side edges and my free edge as straight as possible and then i will go through and seal my cuticle but yeah i really like these files because i just feel like it makes it a lot easier the other ones tend to take a lot longer you just have to be careful with these and make sure you season them before you go into those side walls because you can cut people so yeah i'm thinking these are pretty much done i don't want to do too much to them because they are like the c curve but now i'm going in with the five and one drill bit from creator sky and this is a medium grit one i'm just doing a little bit of drilling not much after this i did go through and buff the needles i didn't think it needed too much so that's what i'll be doing and then i'll pop back in Okay, so now for the favorite part of mine is the nail art. So I wanted some caviar beads, but the other ones that I have weren't gold enough. So I think I'm going to use those as well as some Swarovskis. I like these champagne ones and maybe just some crystal clear ones. So I'm going to start off with my Valentino diamond gel and I'm just going to spread that over the nail. I have them just buffed and that's it. 
So I didn't have planned out what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted the little caviar. So I decided just to make it really simple and just do this very simple design. And then I will be adding the caviars where the stones meet. Um, I will show you guys in a second what I mean. So I'm going to add another one down here because I felt like I needed it. Just adding a little bit more glue. This glue, by the way, holds so good. You won't lose any stones at all. This stuff is amazing. So if you're looking for a good um, glue, try this one. So now I'm going in with those caviar beads and I am just placing them right there where they meet on every row and then i will be adding some around the big stone which i didn't show that on camera um i think this makes it look so cute and it just gives it a different look than when you don't add them so i really enjoy doing the caviar beads it does take a lot of patience so <laughs> keep that in mind I'm just going to add a few more and then we are going to um, do some gel liner work on the other fingers. I really, really love the way these nails ended up looking and I got a lot of positive feedback from my Instagram post. If you guys follow me on Instagram, make sure you go like my picture if you haven't. So yeah, look how cute these look. I'm just making sure they're all straight. And then I am going to cure them. And you can see the other ones that I added on the other, um, the middle stone. I'm going in with this liner. This is from Profiles Backstage and it's called Coffee. I felt like it matched the acrylic perfectly. And I just decided to do some swirlies because I couldn't think of anything else. But I felt like it fit this set well. So I'm just going in with a thin layer of this. These are super pigmented so they don't cure the best. If you don't have a very good lamp, they do tend to bubble and ripple. So make sure you're careful with that. Once I cured that, I'm going in with this not polished glitter liner and this is in big spender such a beautiful gold and i felt like it fit perfectly with the shimmery gold and the acrylic and once we've got this done we're basically done i will be adding some top coat on camera for you guys to show you guys the final look and some close-ups so i'm just finishing that up now all right so that's cured now i'm going in with my secret nail fair top coat which i just got and i am in love with this top coat i can't believe i hadn't tried it it's so amazing i think it's my new favorite honestly so yeah i'm making sure i um get really close to those caviar beads and kind of pressing the gel into those beads that way they stay put for sure it won't hurt as long as you don't get it on the stones you should be fine just make sure you're capping your gel as well and then before you cure make sure you uh, slide your fingers on the side of the nail so you won't lose your shape with that top coat so that's basically it guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i am absolutely obsessed with the way these ended up looking so i will see you guys in my next video i have some christmas nails coming up so that's super exciting i will see you guys soon bye